We apologize for the poor quality of our last video. Too much progress does not give us much time to redo. Here we will further explain two strings and our interpretation of the slingshot effect. But first, our bold claims are reiterated and explained in terms of the two simple principles. All of these projects are derived from indisputable possibilities of free energy. Of course, all of these are science fiction deemed impossible like the tiny transistor and neodymium magnets not too many years ago. It's foolish for anyone to try to do the impossible, so they should only try for the nearly impossible and then be satisfied with 90% or 50 or 10 or just 1% whatever the real possibility is. The statisticians will determine the efficiency when the inventors are done. So it is time to identify the strings of our bold claims. Our two-string concept might be a more accurate nomenclature. We say two of our conceptual strings are required because anything with just one string conforms absolutely to the heat principle of conservation of energy. Two strings allow us to control angle and time, one string don't. For a sailboat, nearly impossible sailing into the wind. One string is the force on the sail, and the other string is the force on the rudder and hull. A keen inventor sees that those forces are always at different angles. So we look behind an ice skater who has a string on each foot. Both the different angles and the different times are hard not to understand when seeing the marks he has left on new ice. Time here is differing speeds on two sides of the sail and two sides of the hull. And time is the secret of all slingshot effects, including diving boards, kangaroo, bullwhips, and lightning. Store energy slowly and release it quickly, aka energy transformation devices. Sadly, all of our devices run at constant speed, but internal combustion engines reverse the process. Violent explosions dissipated slowly, like the slow rumble of thunder after lightning. Acceleration is not critical, so it seems simple. Our claims must use angles instead of time. That should make them easier to explain. We store energy at different angles instead of at different times. Magnetic flux strings may be the toughest to understand while offering the greatest opportunities. It may be impossible for magnetic flux to be along a straight line, so we have to accept all the consequences of only nearly straight. Of course, energy consequences are included there. Simulation shows linkage during attraction conceptually a single set of strings. In repulsion, we see two sets of strings. Some people say repulsion is unlinked force. We will not argue with anyone's definitions of magnetic repulsion or centrifugal force. Good stuff happens when magnets are made perpendicular. In this venue, we can avoid mindless debate by saying partial attraction and partial repulsion. Play with perpendicular magnets and decide for yourself. Like anti-gravity and rocket packs, motors start with a simple concept. Attraction while magnets get closer and repulsion as they move apart. Incoming and outgoing forces in the same direction. Perpendicular magnets do this. Unfortunately, in the middle, the forces reverse. An incredible opportunity nullifying any one or two of the three forces with a conceptual string would leave net torque and spin. Of course, the force vector would need to be radial or axial. Steel could be used to redirect the flux, like the rudder on a boat, to achieve either of those desirable angles. Efficiency will be determined when the inventing is done. We will take bets nullification efficiency will be greater than 70%. The steel added to ceramic magnets here enables these hybrid magnet assemblies with asymmetric fields to nullify perpendicular magnet forces. Conceptually, the steel might be called powerful angle-changing string. These string shapes nullify a little bit more than 1% by redirecting part of the magnetic field. The nullification efficiency here was measured between 10 and 20%, depending on a critical gap. 
The free energy principles have evolved so quickly that radial energy storage devices using components similar to these could have 80% efficiency. Inventing could be done when we win the bet. This slingshot effect is based on straight gravitational strings, more approach than depart time, and a huge difference in masses. Conceptually, it could be viewed as a transformation of angle and energy. To better understand the difference between transformation and conservation, look at some of the alternatives. What if the satellite and planet were the same size? What if gravity was repulsion rather than attraction? Our magnets are the same size, and repulsive magnet energy with its two strings is the only thing we foresee ever making it to the already invented list. Let's find out.